Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. Sorry, the last video stopped abruptly, so I have to make this another video to continue the uh, concept. Uh, disclaimer, before watching this video, please go and check the previous video on the same subject, major testing concepts covered via a demo app. So I will continue after the test designing part. So in the last, in the first video, so in the uh, first part, I have shown you how do you design a test case. I have also shown you how do you design a test scenario. Then based on those scenarios, you uh, how do you define, how do you design test cases? And this is the format. Sometimes you can directly write in the Excel or you can directly write in the tool that you are using. If you're using Jira, you can directly write a test case in Jira itself, depending upon the test process. If you are following um, Excel, uh, some companies still follow Excel, which is okay. And uh, you can write some column name as serial number, test case number, test case name, test case description, test data, whatever you're using, test steps number, one, two, three, test steps process. What is a test uh, step process you're following? For example, when you are doing book a free demo, what are the steps involved here? You will click on book a free demo you will click on book a free uh, demo. You will click on book a free demo. The page will load. You will enter values in the mandatory fields. Click on submit. The form should get submitted and a confirmation message should appear on the screen stating, thank you, we will be contacting you shortly. Here the test case finishes. And similarly, second, click on contact sales. Contact sales page uh, appears, enter the valid value in uh, the mandatory fields and click on submit. You should be, user should be able to submit the form and you should get confirmation message stating that you will be contacting sales. Sales department will be contacting you soon. So test steps number process and expected result. What are you expecting out of book a free demo? That the form should get submitted and you should be booked for a free demo. Actual result, when the application is ready and when you execute steps in order, that time you will get actual result. And that time you will compare actual result with the expected result and match. If both of them are same, then that means your test case is pass. You will mark the status as pass, either in Excel or in the team, depending upon the test process. If it is not matching, if the actual result that you got while executing the uh, test case is not matching with the expected, that, that means it's a failure. That, that time you will say test case has failed. If you have any specific comments, you can write the comments. If it is not matching, that means it's a defect. Then you will raise a defect in the test management tool or the defect management tool. Sometimes one tool serves as both defect uh, management as well as test management. So you will raise a defect. And you can also apply a label with the test case. For example, I will attach a label called the demo here. Why would I attach a label? This will help in the reporting. Uh, suppose uh, when the one phase is finished and you're waiting for the next build and your manager asks you to generate a list of test cases for free demo, how will you do? You will go to the tool and do uh, make a filter on free demo and it will extract you the list of all the test cases which are associated with free demo. So it's a good practice to attach a label with the test cases or uh, specific functionality or the feature or the user story, depending upon the um, software development process that you are following in the project. Once test case designing is done, let's assume that you have also executed all the test cases. Then the last part comes as status reporting, test reporting. You can directly mail to the key members, um, such as project stakeholders, project management, uh, business analyst, and your team. And uh, otherwise, there is one more option. You can um, extract report in Jira and then just you know take the report from there and paste it in a mail and then send it across. This will make your life better. If you are familiar with the reporting feature, how to, how to customize the reports, how to generate reports, or you can also use um, Excel pie charts and pivot table and graphs if that is a requirement from your uh, management side. Designer format in Excel also some people, some companies still prefer Excel because it is, you know, it is still used for project management purposes. You can uh, use some formulas and you can generate pie charts and bar graphs. Or in the Excel, if you are, if you want to maintain a format, the, uh, these are the 
major columns that you can write name of the FRD which you are writing. Like in this case, I will say um, HRM functions. This is the name of the FRD. Let's just say total number of test cases. HRM function FRD has these two um, features. Let us assume um, book a free demo and contact sales. So out of these two um, features, we have identified, let's say, 25 test cases. How many I have executed? 20 I have executed. How many got failed? Five test cases got failed because of some so-and-so reason. How many defects I have raised? I would say I have raised two defects. Maybe others, um, two defects I have raised. And priority, you can mention the priority of the defects accordingly. Whatever is the priority, you can mention that. And if there are comments, if you need, if you have environment issue, you can mention that. Environment was down, down time, right? For one hour or so like that, you can mention. Or maybe you can mention as a you know, uh, remark or observation. And that's it. And then send it to your team, done and dusted. Project, uh, your duty is done. So, um, and yes, I have spoken about uh, test plan. Test plan will give you the high level overview of uh, the testing activities, which type of testing you will be performing. First, exploratory testing will be done. Then smoke testing will be done. You have to identify the smoke test um, cases first. If you are working in automation testing, you will have smoke test scripts, which you have to execute um, upon getting every new release. Right, every new build, you have to execute the smoke test build first to make sure that the build is stable. Then you will um, continue with the rest of the testing. Then you will have uh, your you know, unit testing and integration testing, system testing, end-to-end uh, -end testing, uh, regression testing, regression testing, and then um, eventually you will come towards the end of the project where testing will be finished. All major defects will be closed and you will generate a full flash report and send it to your manager. So just a quick overview, including the previous video and this video, what we have discussed in these two uh, videos are, we have taken one app and we have, um, I have given you walkthrough on how to understand the app, what is the behavior, how do you understand what type of app this is, and how do you identify high level scenarios of uh, out of the given app? How do you identify test cases based on those high level scenarios? Once the test cases are ready with you, then you have to start the execution by the time a build is also ready. When you are executing test cases, it is obvious that you will come across some defects. So you will have to raise those defects in the defect management tool. So you, you can use the same tool, Jira or Zephyr Squad or whatever tool you're using, um, Microsoft test management tool, you know, like that. And once the defect reporting is done, uh, then you can do the test reporting. For the defect reporting video, please go and watch my previous video where I have explained in detail about defect uh, different stages, defect life cycle. And in that video, I have also explained about, you know, agile concepts, scrum board, Kanban board, and many more things. Then uh, this is the format. You can design the format in Excel file or you can directly write in the tool. This is test case designing format. You can design it in Excel or you can directly design in the tool depending upon the test process. Or just for these training purposes, I have written down the column names here rather than using Excel. So please don't worry about that. And then status reporting we have. You can directly uh, prepare it in Excel file and then paste the table in the mail and send it to the key people. And, uh, and that's it. So I hope you like the video. And if you do, please um, hit like and give a nice comment. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, please take care of yourself. My tea is getting cold also. All right then, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.